that again, shall we? <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our last class of the year, and it couldn't come soon enough if you ask me, because <laughs> I can't take anymore. I can't take anymore. I need to be done for this year. I need to be sitting, popping some bonbons, enjoying my life. How about you? Uh, welcome, welcome to this channel. Uh, seems like we're going to end the year with a little drama, huh? I can't wait to find out more. Uh, all you have to do is hire me. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> in any case, oh, let me just put my plan here. So you can notice that I'm wearing my glasses. Yeah, my glasses. And uh, this is because I have an unforeseen little autoimmune issue that has reared its ugly head. Okay, now I can find it. So I gotta be seeing you in this way right now. Um, I hope you are all having a wonderful week, a wonderful lead up to the holidays. The lights are reflecting in the glasses. I don't want to teach like this, but I want to teach for you. So here we are in this space of doing it anyway. Do it anyway. And that is a really good goal setting chant, by the way, to do it anyway. All right. Yeah, T yeah, reach out to me. <laughs> um, I noticed a few things too, quite honestly. So, uh, but hey. Bigger and better things on the horizon, Joy, for all of us, right? Let's start. We're going to do a no repeats workout today. Um, it's going to be quickish and effective. No repeats means one round of every single exercise. We've got kind of three little chunks to work through. You need bicep, biceps. You do need your biceps. You need dumbbells or weights. Probably a um, elastic or resistance band. If you don't have any of those, please don't worry too much about it. Good morning. I trust we're all here. With the right intentions, we're gonna put on our little deal. All right, let's reach up. Let's press down and lift. Music slowed and your volume. Oh man, I am wondering if there's some kind of weird situation. Yes. All right, let's, is everybody else feeling me, uh, feeling, hearing me okay? I can, both, both levels on my end are looking really okay. So I'm not entirely sure what's up. I have a new microphone on and everything's showing up on my monitor well. So let me know if you can't hear me. Let's take a side lunge, reach over and flat back and then come all the way up, lift your arms up overhead, and then reach over in a flat back. Come all the way through center, arms overhead. I'm a little soft, all right. Here, keep going. Reach all the way up overhead. Good. Reach back. And all the way overhead. All right, I'm turning myself up as about as high as I can go. Reach back, all the way overhead. How's that, a little better? Over to the side, all the way overhead. Good, bring your feet a little closer. Let's take a squat down and up. As you squat, as you stand from the squat, press back. Thank you, Paul. Down, press, down, and press, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm definitely plugged in and the levels are high, so hopefully we're good. That's better. I can do it one more time if you need me to. Good. All right, take your hands to your shoulders, overhead, to your shoulders, all the way down. Let's go faster. Colleen's here. Welcome, my friend. Colleen, can I post that picture of you and Dick? Let me know, I wanted to ask you and I forgot to. Yes, just warming up those shoulders. Woo! Happy holidays, be safe on the road. Good. One more time. Bend and reach. Pull down your right hand, reach up through your left. Stretch up, stretch up. And reach. Good. And stretch. Excellent. And stretch. It's like, you know how every once in a while, okay, thank you, Colleen. Every once in a while, like on this platform, 
We're doing really, really well, but we have like all the tech glitches. I just don't feel, Heather is here. I don't feel in control of anything. Quick in the pace, <laughs> reach, reach, reach. Oh, we'll get there though. I feel distracted <laughs> for four, for three. We're gonna go into a step tap, reaching across the chest. Just go tap, tap. That's it. Thank you for rolling with me yesterday. I had two separate issues, one being my eyes. I do not have pink eye, by the way. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Good. Reach up to the high diagonal. Go up. Woo! Let's try to stay with that beat. I love the style of the glasses. I am not a fan of wearing my glasses. I'm not going to lie. I'll take contacts any, any day. I don't like a lot of things touching my face. Good. Give me four. We're gonna take it down to the low diagonal. Just reach, 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 reach. That's it. <clears throat> Taking this at whatever pace you need, everybody. Just stretch it out. <laughs> it's funny, because I was on the phone with somebody yesterday, Joy. And uh, <laughs> we're talking about reaching back out, but I guess that's gone. <laughs> Go eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, back to the center, body weight squats. Down, all the way up. Oh yeah. Well, the good news is the replay Colleen will be here for you when you get to where you're going, right? Don't discount the ultimate power of taking a little Christmas walk, giving yourself a break. Even if things aren't stressful, it's a lot of time with family. Sometimes you just need a reset, you know? A deep breath. Let's go two more. Down. And up. And down. All right. Excellent work. So we get a bicep curl. We have a body weight row where we're going to be on our knees or in a plank with no weights. We have a chest press. And then we have some more squats. All right. So I am going to choose a high, medium to heavy weight, which for me is going to be a 15 pound. We're kind of targeting the same muscle group multiple times in a row through different exercises. So just whatever weight you choose, be sure that it's one that isn't gonna overpower you in the first exercise and then like not let you be on top of it for the last. You wanna be, the goal is to get you tired by the end of it, but not to be tired in the first exercise so that you can't do the next one, okay? You feeling warm? All right, stand with your feet hip width distance apart. Roll those shoulders up and down and back. Reach through the crown of the head, and then we're gonna bicep curl. Ready, set, go. Lift and lower. Think two counts up, two counts down. Woo, I did bicep curls on Monday. I'm teaching a step aerobics class in person, live. Step in strength, and my foot's okay. It's not 100%, but it's not making it worse. Just in that uncomfortable healing aspect that happens. Good. All right, keep going. Reach it down. Pull. Got just about 10 seconds left. If ever you need to lower your weight or shift to one arm at a time, that's 100%. A great strategy. Last one. Good. All the way down. All right. Take your weights. Place them to either side of your mat. Join me all the way down on the mat. If you're on your knees, I'm going to do this one on my knees. We're coming to a long plank position, strong engagement, and your knees are about hip width distance apart. We're going to row up with one arm, place it down, row up with the other. The goal is to make sure you're not doing a lot of side to side hip shifting, okay? Ready, set, find your plank, and we go, just alternating. Of course you can do this with weights. Sometimes it's just a nice core exercise. Also targets the biceps that we just worked. Making sure our hips don't dip down too low. And breathing throughout, feeling that front connection to my body, front to back. Good. Keep going. Almost there, almost there. 
10 more seconds. After this, we go on our back for chest press. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, shift around. I'm not ruminating, but I am thinking a lot has changed about formatting, and it might just be because they want everything universal. Oh. All right, shoulders down. That's the last I'm gonna say about it, okay? <laughs> Uh-oh, foggy glasses time. Chest press, we push up to the center of our breastbone. We come down, elbows touching the floor or the mat, not totally resting, because we're about to push again, okay? Ready, set, and uh, go. Push it up. I like to think of my rib cage getting heavy into the mat as I press, reach. So when we do no repeats, we try to target the same or similar muscle group a bunch of different ways through a circuit. And sometimes you feel like that's exactly enough for you and sometimes you feel like you need a little more. So just kind of listen in, see what your body's asking for. Good, push. Keep going up and lower. Press, almost there. Really strong meeting those weights in the middle. Lowering with control, last two. And last one. Press it up, pull it all the way down. Let's rock ourselves all the way up. We're gonna bring these weights uh, up with us if you like. You can either choose a body weight squat or you can choose to squat with the weights on your shoulders all right we did some body weight squats at the beginning if you want to repeat those be my guest if not join me with the weights on your shoulders almost there in five four then we have a little longer break we go down and press up i'm going to stay with the two counts i have no need to work on explosive strength today the whole week has been a means of explosive strength. <laughs> so I don't need speed right now. If you do, speed up the tempo for yourself. But otherwise, we're just gonna be here pacing. Good. Reach. Yes. Colleen, you're here with us for sure. We appreciate you. I mean, you're logging in from the car. How could you not be here with us? <laughs> That means a lot. Five seconds. Last one. Press it up. Let's take those heavier weights. Let's bring them all the way down. All right, shake it out. Grab yourself a drink. Our next round is all triceps. So I'm gonna encourage you to do a lighter weight. I find triceps to be very challenging for myself. So I'm gonna have a 10 and to five. We're gonna start with body weight dips and then we'll work into kickbacks and a couple other things. So we'll get these tens out of here. We'll bring the fives just in case, helping future me plan if she needs them. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is tricep dips. Ideally, your hands are fingers facing your hips Sometimes that can be a little challenging on the wrists. So one of the things you could do, since so many of you have your rebounder, is you could use your rebounder to do your dips, holding on to the side of the frame, okay? All right, so your feet are hip width distance apart. Your fingertips are facing your hips. You're pressing up and lifting those hips high. You're gonna bend your elbows to reach back. As you stretch or stand, you wanna land with your shoulders over your wrists as best you can. All right, ready, set, let's go. Bend and stretch, bend and stretch. Dips are not my favorite, but they definitely get the job done. <laughs> Suddenly, you know where your triceps are, yeah? I'm just tapping my hips to the ground. You can always rest in between. Good. That's it. 
Awesome work, awesome work. This is why I have the fives too, because it could get a little tedious. We have 15, so that went a lot less than 15 now. Whew. Stretch. It's not about locking out the elbows, it's about squeezing the back of your arm. Last one. Oh, all right. Shake it out. That is not always my favorite for my wrists, but here we are. All right, we're gonna go into um, kickbacks and straight arm reaches and then down to a plank. So you can do these standing or you can do them on your knees. Since we're coming back down to a plank, I'm gonna just do them on my knees. You can do whatever makes the most sense to you, okay? So let's, let's try these tens. <sighs> Bye everyone. Happy holidays. Bye Colleen, bye Dick. Mary Mary, thank you for being here. All right, so we're gonna row our arms up. We're gonna kick back. We're gonna pull in. I'm one, I want the fives right away. <laughs> I reserve my right to change my mind, okay? I wanna be able to lift like a present on Christmas, right? Here we go. Reach. Pull it in, okay? Elbows nice and tight to your sides. You're hinged forward far as you can, you can get to a flat back, either by moving your toes down. The goal is to keep your elbows in the same place, moving from your tricep. So you align your forearms with your elbows, never letting those elbows move. <laughs> Good. That's it. Push and in. We did say, a lot of upper body today, didn't we? Reach. You got it, you got it. Woo! Almost there, almost there. Four. Three. Two. One. Quick break. Ay, ay, ay. All right, our next one we're gonna swing back with a straight arm. I'm actually gonna stand for this one just so I can hinge a little bit more. You can join me in standing or stay on your knees. So we wanna be hinged at 90 degrees. We're gonna go back and down. That's the tempo and the goal is to hold it up there for like a beat, enough to maybe snap a photo, okay? Are you ready? Hinge at your hips or bend in your knees. Open chest, we go press and lower. Kick it back and lower, just keeping those arms straight. Press, nice wide collarbones. Reach, good, keep going, stretch, press. I have noticed quite a few new faces over here, so welcome, welcome everyone. You are very welcome here. Whether you're watching live or at a future point in time, know that we're making a safe space. We're focusing on movement for our life, more than our, our aesthetics. We're about experiences more than burning calories. Good, one more time. Reach, ay ay ay. Okay, we got a plank position. Let's come on down. Plank on your knees or on your toes. We go in five, four, hands under the shoulders. Find the first foot, find the second one, and we're here and we're holding, and we're using those really strong triceps, pushing the mat through the ground. You're most likely gonna feel tired in your arms, but maybe a little more activated too. Sometimes it helps you find the strength of your plank, yeah? This is a long one, stay with me. Keep breathing, watching that clock. Brace the wobble. If you're in a full plank and you need to drop to your knees to make it to the end, please do so. We're almost there. Last 10 seconds. Front of ribs lifts to back of ribs. Open your hips, press through your heels, reach to the crown of your head. Three, two, and one. Bend your knees. Reach those arms up nice and long. Take a stretch. Good work. Excellent, let's roll up through the spine. All right, 
We've got shoulders next. We've got a press, we've got a side raise, we've got a rear delt raise, and then we've got a dumbbell row. So I'm actually gonna have my tens for the press, fives for the side and delt, and 15s for the row. Sound good? Hopefully, hopefully. All right, take a moment. We'll get ready in just a second. Okay. Shoulder press. We're gonna keep the dumbbells facing that way and press straight up and come all the way down. Yeah? Let's get ready. Choose your weight for the presses. Yeah, good soreness. Good soreness is okay, right? Ready, set, and I wanna keep us on time. Go, press up, lower down with control. That's it. Press and lower, you got it. And we're working that slow cadence just so you can track your way up, track your way down. If you need to rest, rest at the bottom for a beat. Maybe you shift to one arm at a time. That's a perfectly logical way to stay in the exercise without putting yourself into a place of peril where you're gonna lose your form or start to compensate, yeah? So it's just one arm goes up, other arm goes down, or same arm goes down, you get me. Good, keep going, keep going. 10 seconds, we got it. Reach, three, let's get one more, let's get one more. Push, 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 and all the way down. Very, very nice. All right, moving into the next one. I'm gonna drop down for side raises. I tend to get a little tension around my neck and shoulders, if that's you too. Choose a weight that's gonna allow you to feel the exercise but not feel like you're putting yourself into too much tension, yeah? Roll those shoulders back. I'm standing with my legs together, a little bend in the elbows. We're lifting our arms up to shoulder height, lowering down. Want to keep those elbows lifted and think of pushing from the center of your shoulder muscle, not from your neck. It's like the dumbbells right on the center of your shoulder muscle. Yeah. It's real easy too when we start to use smaller weights to throw that weight up above the angle that we're trying to meet. So for you, we want it at shoulder height with a little pause at the top, okay? No higher, ideally no lower. Good. Reaching through, almost there, almost there. Good. Yeah, just take it easy, Tracy, that's right. I almost forgot, it's been, that frozen shoulder was how you came in, I think. Good, couple more. Good, last one, last one. Woo, all the way down, okay. I'm glad you're feeling better. We're gonna go into a rear delt. Um, instead of a fly, let's do a wide row. Sometimes that is a little more helpful. So you can keep your small um, weights. Our narrow row comes in and that's what we're gonna do with the heavier weights. But our wide row stays in front and makes two little, how do I do that? 90 degree angles at your shoulders. And like you can see, my angles are a little off. Everybody's angles get a little off, especially at this time of the year. So do your best, okay? Do your absolute best. Let's find hip width distance apart for stability. We're gonna hinge forward at the hips, bringing your arms down. Pull your shoulders on your back. Open to the wide position. Bring it all the way down. Let's concentrate on finding freedom in the neck, okay? Freedom. The more free we are around the neck, the more action we kind of look for in between the shoulders, just the easier it becomes to navigate which muscles we're trying to target in this exercise, which just means shorten the most. If you talk about targeting, it's not actually gonna be, we're not targeting for toning. It doesn't work that way, y'all. We target for strength, but you don't target for, you can't like do a bunch of these and make your arm look a different way. I mean, there's always a yes and to all of these, but for 
our purposes, let's think about targeting for strength, yeah? This is a lawnmower, two more, two more. Picking up a bag, a car seat, if you have grandkids or kids. Last one, come all the way up, yeah. My, my worst, like the cue that I hate the worst is when people, fitness people, start talking about that little black dress. And I'm certain that I did it in my youth too. But like, who cares? <laughs> like, it's like, when you're in that little black dress, you're usually wearing uncomfortable shoes, pantyhose, some kind of Spanx. You know, you can't breathe. It's tight. You're walking around like you're on stilts. No, 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 no. No. We want to be able to pick stuff up and go with it. We're not training for small moments of beautiful discomfort, <laughs> okay? We're training for life moments of beautiful strength. Take that and hashtag it. Friends, it comes from somebody smart because I'm wearing glasses. Are you ready for your rows? <laughs> <laughs> that was me stalling, 100%. All right, so our rows are also gonna be in a bent over position. We're here, we're pulling close. Remember that you're trying to get that dumbbell right next to your hip so that you target your back muscles between your shoulder blades, okay? Are we ready? Speed kill sensation. You're all like my, um, what do they call it? Like uh, stenographers remembering all my little cues from the past few years. All right, we gotta go. Ready, hinge at your hips, row, lower down. I'm going slow so you can find that hip. In the event you can't find that hip, maybe the weight is too heavy for you right now. Let's try a new one, yeah? Pull and reach, pull, you got it. Yes. Speed kills sensation and time under tension is a principle that builds strength. Only when you have the awareness can you effectively add speed, right? Think about it on the rebounder. We can't go fast unless we know how to basic bounce, right? We can't do a pony until we learn how to do a bounce balance. Four. Wah. Three. Good. Two. Last one, last one. Pull. All right, stand up. Okay, everybody. We're gonna do a couple of more targeted movements for our core muscles. Um, the first one is a pullover. It is up to you what weight you use. You want it to be heavy enough to feel the tug in your abdominals, but not so heavy that your shoulders feel strained. So, excuse me, I'm gonna start with the 10 and feel how that feels. Holding on one side, the setup is to come on down to your back, and you have a choice of either keeping your feet down, your arms are going back, and the whole objective is to reach the arms back without popping the ribs. So there's a dual action of controlling your arms as they go back and dropping down into the rib cage as you move your arms overhead. I gotta take my glasses off for a second, which means I can't see anything. So, except for what's right here in front of me. All right, so over your chest, your first option is feet down. An upgrade with a little more challenge is gonna be knees at tabletop and even more challenge is gonna be legs out or even on the diagonal. I don't need that today, so I'm gonna come right here. Plug your shoulders in, press your rib cage down. Here we go, we're gonna reach the arms back overhead. Don't let those ribs pop. Feel the tension and then exhale to bring it back over your chest. Just breathe as you need to. Something that helps me is I think about my underarms shining up to the ceiling as the weight goes backwards and then pulling from the underarms. Reaching over, pressing through, yeah. Reaching back, pulling through, that's it. Reaching, and 
and pull. You got it. Let's go for four. Usually around this time, you can start feeling a little tension along the front of your abdominal wall. Keep your intention on pressing those ribs against the ground. It will help. Last two, last two. Squeeze your legs together. Get a little more connection. Good, last one. Reach. Excellent, all the way in. Let's separate your feet if they're up. Place them back down on the mat. We're gonna take this weight to your hips. We're gonna press up into a glute bridge and lower down. Remember the difference between a glute bridge and a spinal bridge is that this one comes from the legs and the spinal bridge really articulates the spine. There you go, up and lower. If this feels relatively light and you wanna add your other one on, you can push up and just use your hands to hold there. You can always gather a heavier weight. Sometimes this gets the job done. So yesterday, I had, every year I go downtown to Chris Kindle Mart, and it's always a zoo, but my doctor is right around where it's at. So I went to see my doctor, I came down, I sat in a random hotel on Michigan Avenue, the Magnificent Mile, and um, then I walked over to Chris Kindle Mart, and I love nesting dolls. I think they're called Russian nesting dolls, but nesting dolls, you know, the ones that get, go from big to small, and there's this one vendor every single year, I know exactly where they are, and they have the smallest dolls. You'll have to watch my Instagram story. I haven't opened them all up. I'll do it today though, or maybe tomorrow. We got two more. Look at these dolls. They're like the tiniest, like a size of a grain of rice painted, and I am obsessed. Um, go ahead and lower down. Rock yourself up. Hi, here I am. I got one that's a cat, and it's a smaller cat, smaller cat, smaller cat, smaller cat, smaller cat, smaller cat, smaller cat mouse. I got cows, chickens, and then the fattest, a panda, the big size, is the size of my thumbnail. The small size, I really can't tell you because I can't see that close. <laughs> but it was so much Christmas joy. I do it every single year. They're getting to know me. It's my favorite self-tradition. I don't buy them for anybody else. It's mine, me. I buy them for me. All right, Russian twists for the Russian dolls. We're gonna come up. You can have your feet down. Remember, you're twisting from your torso, not to your arms. You can also have your feet in a balance, doing the same thing. Choose your position. Ready, set, let's go. Just twisting side to side. Hold the weight at your chest. Move from your rib cage. Keep your balance. That's it. So I got in and I got right out because I don't need I don't need to hang out in crowds in the city. Boy, you got it. You got it. We're almost there. Almost there. Twenty seconds. Twisting, twisting. Yes. Ah, 15. Ooh, we're starting to feel it. Come on. 10. Strong through the center. Keep that breath going. Three, two, one. And that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote for the no repeats. Let's stretch it out, everybody. I want to do a. Um, couple shoulder stretches. Get out of here. And we'll also stretch our hips. So let's come around on hands and knees. Yes. All right, hands and knees. We're gonna reach one arm up. Thread the needle and reach and place your shoulder all the way down. Well, I think your niece's name is awesome, Tracy. It's the best name there is. I was almost an Olivia. I think that would have been a little too fancy for me. I like the name. Jenna is kind of straightforward who I am. Good. This isn't really our best stretching music, but it's coming. <laughs> Good. Press up through your supporting hand. Then take this same hand, 
reach it to your high right corner if it's your right hand, do the opposite if it's your left hand, and then shift your hips back to the opposite corner. So if you're reaching high right, shift your hips back low left. It gives you a little diagonal stretch along the back line of your arm. Good. All right, come on all the way up. Open to the back wall. Reach through. Here we go. Here we go, back into the Christmas stretchy spirit of things. <sighs> Excellent. Sometimes wiggling your finger out can help. Good. Let's press up. Reach on the high corner and shift your hips to the opposite corner. Yeah. So I went down, I did the doctor, I did the Chris Kindle Mart, I came back up north, I made candles for all of my son's teachers, literally wondering why he had so many teachers. As I came in, one of the reasons why I was a little behind is I was receiving emails from the teachers asking if they were really meant to get the gifts that he was giving. And I was like, yeah, like he specified, like your name's on it, he specifies that you would give it. Go ahead and come all the way up. Um, let's take one leg forward. I'm gonna take my left forward and then just tuck your hip under. I kind of press your hip open as you lean back just a little bit, a little hip flexor stretch. So it turns out in public school, if you have any special needs, you can be assigned an IP, which is a teacher's aide who helps you in class, which is wonderful. But these kids are so used to the culture of these other people being in class, even if they're not like assigned to them, um, that you know they appreciate them. And so this teacher, who was an assistant to another kid, was like, I don't think I'm supposed to get this which just tells you everything you need to know about teachers, right? Go ahead and shift forward, take your hands down, and press forward. They are selfless. <laughs> so in any case, um, I said, no, no, you were on the list, and he considers you an important part of the classroom, so please accept the gift, and I hope you like it, and happy holidays, and thank you for you know, the impacts that you create in my son's life. All right, everybody, stay here. If you want a little more hip stretch, you can come on all the way up. You want to reach back if that's possible I don't know today there we go give yourself a little extra here but I just I'm not saying that to brag about my son it was as surprising to me as it was to anyone and it wasn't a, there was no like I'm gonna do this because I think it would be a good kid thing to do go ahead and come back flex your foot lift in as much of a flat back as you can and then just reach over your leg for a little half hamstring. I was just, I was pleasantly surprised and it was really nice to see that he wasn't just thinking of like the only, like only the, the teachers he has, but also just the people who are part of the community. And I really, I really was proud of him. A good boy. Good. All right, come on all the way up and then just Pivot so you're in an, uh, a kind of a side lunge, and then let's reach. Yeah. I mean, that's all you can ask for with your kids, right? Like, if they're loving, I don't know, this world can be pretty unkind, but like this morning, I, found, I ran into a guy on the dog walk who's been just really nice to me throughout the scooter and the boot phase, and just said, you look great, keep going, you know? And I said to him this morning, I said, hey, you were on my gratitude list this year. It really meant a lot to me that you kind of cheered me on, it helped. And I, you know, it, it made some of the days where I, it felt hard to do this better. And uh, he was like, wow, my God, it's not hard for us to do that, right? To just like say thank you to other people. It's like, we think we have to spend thousands of dollars on a course or a journal to say thank you to someone. You just say, say thank you, give them a gift. Hey, thank you. Let's bring the other leg forward. Woo, shaky. All right, first we get that hip opener here. Pressing it forward. Those, you never know how those thank yous are gonna land in someone's day or in someone's life or, you know, those small acts of kindness. I think 
sometimes people think it has to be huge, like the Starbucks lines where people pay it forward in the drive through You hear after the fact that it is like the most chaotic thing for the employees, so it's not actually like, it's made in an, in a, an effort to be good and to be part of this whole big, very visual thing, right? When like sometimes, you just say thank you. <laughs> like that's enough. Come on forward <laughs> into your big stretch. So all of that to say, bend your back knee if you like. Thank you to all of you. As I say every week, it really does mean the world. That's why I, you know a bunch of you told me to take today off. Next week we're going to be off. I'm going to be chilling. I'm going to be working on some new material. I need to give my brain a rest, you know. Um, but you know I show up because I appreciate you and because you show up for me. So it's a two-way street, my friends. All right, let's come up. Take that side stretch. I'm just kind of pushing my knee back a little. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Tracy. Yeah, brag all about me. Make them mad, right? <laughs> all right, well, I am gonna do one ask for all of you. Come on up, let's come up to stand. Um, bring it through, loop it around. I'm gonna, I don't wanna crush my microphone here, so. Pull with your forearm towards to stretch the side of your shoulder. So I've got a, I'm just gonna be vague about it. I've got a pretty big submission to put in and I'm hoping to do it tomorrow. All the energy all the juju is appreciated. If you're a pray, praying person, hey, there's no better day, by the way, to practice gratitude and appreciation than on, on the solstice, especially when the day is like, it's literally grayscale. <laughs> Open up. Ugh. But um, it's definitely a good day for, they say uh, on the solstice, winter solstice, it's a great day to clean out, like let go. So make that list. If you've got a effective way of burning it without burning your heart's house down, burn it up, send it out into the world. So make that list of things that need to go, let them go as you watch that flame go. And then if you have things you wanna call in, release, let's interlace your fingers and just stretch behind. It's a great day, says the spiritual folks, to manifest. And I'm, I'm like, you know, I went through my spiritual time. Let's take your elbow up, reach right down between your shoulders. Give yourself one last tricep stretch. I went through my like big crystal energy time and I would say that I am, hello Rebecca, I would say that I am in the in the skeptical spiritual stage, meaning I love magic and I question everything. And it feels really safe to be in that space. So in any case, but you know, manifesting, putting it out there into the universe, can't really help switch sides if you haven't yet. Cannot really help, I mean, can't really hurt. Sorry, that's what I mean. Can't hurt. Hydrate yourselves. All right, here are the things, since this is our last class of the year, my friends, I'll probably post something over the next two weeks if I get creative. Release, okay. Hydrate yourself like crazy. If you do drink alcohol, consider interrupting your alcoholic drinks with a non-alcoholic drink, water, or a mocktail. Sometimes all you need is that glass to feel festive and included, and it's a really easy way. There's so many, I got a, a non-alcoholic red wine um, spritzer for our holidays, because I haven't, I'll celebrate uh, is it eight? Eight years of sobriety in February. Um, but I still like a little drink. I still like a little, the taste of it, no alcohol. So I got a little red wine spritzer de-alcoholized, so I use that. I only need one, it's really nice, but for my health coaching clients, I'm encouraging them to have an alternative so it's not just one alcoholic drink after the other. I'm not judging you, it's just, it makes your body feel crappy and you're here because you want your body to feel good. So interrupt it with water spritzer, tonic, cranberry, tonic water, lime. 
really good combination. Simple mocktail, throw some mint on the top, mwah, chef's kiss. Keep eating. What I mean by that is stay consistent in your meals so your blood sugar is regulated, so you're not starving yourself before you go for the big feast. It doesn't work out well for your system. Keep yourself on a regular cadence, eating something every two to three hours. Prioritize protein, especially if you're gonna have a little extra sugar in the season. We all are, I am too. Prioritize your protein, prioritize your healthy fats, your oils, your nuts. Um, think about the way that you wanna feel before you put that first bite in your mouth. Chew your food. Try chewing 20 to 30 times, it's close to impossible. But one of the things that gets us is we eat faster than our brain can catch up with. So you end up feeling like, oh my God, what did I just do? When you could have had the same amount of enjoyment without the discomfort after the fact. So I'm not saying diet, I'm not saying restrict, and I'm not saying don't enjoy your food. I think you should enjoy your food, have as much as you want. Just be aware of the ramifications of doing it without a sense of mindfulness, okay? Thank you. Welcome, Rebecca. I'm really glad to see you in the chat. Welcome to the fam. Uh, yeah, thank you. It, we have to be practical about our health. And the other thing, if you're not on my mailing list, go to jennazafino.com. There will be a pop-up. It says, everyone opens my emails. Drop yours in there. I am doing both a kitchen clean out after the holidays and a 21 day meal planning program. Both of them are extremely affordable. And if you put your name on the list, you're gonna get a discount off of them. And it'll be a great way to start the new year because I know even though we aren't in the new year, new you mindset, we all like a fresh start. And sometimes when you have a little extra time away from your obligations of your life, it's easier to get it done. So be sure to join me there. You all have a very happy holiday. For those of you who celebrated Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. For those of you who celebrate Christmas, happy Christmas, happy Kwanzaa. Um, I know Diwali has passed. Happy Diwali as well. Just know that this next year, 2024, ooh, I feel this percolating energy, like, like the stuff of which we haven't experienced in this platform, but we've been building up to. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, folks, that's where we are. I look forward to spending it with you. All of my gratitude to you. Have the best new year, and I'll see you in 2024.